Okay, uh, this is Algebra 2B Credit 2. This is the first video for uh, 2B Credit 2. This is the intro video. We're going to be covering uh, some uh, uh, prerequisite skills, some just important things to know uh, before we get in the packet. So there's going to be, as usual for the intro videos, no uh, homework assigned, uh, just taking some notes and reviewing some skills here. All right, so we're on page five, and on page five, on the first three problems, they want us to rewrite each expression using only positive exponents. So the first one, we've got x to the negative 4, y to the negative second. And what we can do here is think of this as a fraction. We can put 1 in the denominator. So if you want to make a negative exponent positive, you just drop it to the other side of the fraction. So in this case, both the negatives are on top. We're going to put both on the bottom. So x to the fourth, y to the second, and since there's nothing left on the top, we just put the one there, and we have one over x to the fourth, y to the second. So that is number one. Number two, we have x to the eighth, y to the negative fifth. Now in this case, we're going to put the fraction over one again, but in this case, only the y has a negative exponent. So only the y is going to drop into the denominator. The x to the eighth will stay on top, y comes to the bottom and becomes y to the positive fifth. So that is how we do that. Number three, we've got uh, x to the negative one over y to the negative two. Okay, so uh, same principle here. So the x that's on top, x to the negative one comes to the bottom and becomes x to the positive one. So that drops to the bottom. Now y is on the bottom, but it's negative, so it's going to come to the top. And we, and that'll become y to the positive second. So we have y to the second over x to the first. But remember, when the exponent is positive one, we generally don't write the one. So y to the second over x. Although if you do leave it there, that's that's fine. It's not wrong. You're just typically not going to see it like that. All right, now, for 4, 5, and 6, they want to, us to write the expression using rational exponents. And again, when we hear the word rational, we sh should be thinking the, of a fraction. Rational ratio, and a ratio, of course, is a fraction. So let's remind ourselves how we do this. We have the sixth root of a to the third, b to the 12. Okay, so um, remember the... We're going to take the exponent over the root. So we have a to the 3 over 6, and then b to the 12 over 6. And that's done, except can we simplify those fractions? Well, with the 3 over 6, we can divide both of those by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's a to the 1 half. Now, 12 over 6, that divides out evenly. So 12 divided by 6. Remember, the fraction bar means divide. 12 divided by 6 is 2, so we've got a to the 1 half, b to the, whoops, second, not 12, b to the second. So a to the 1 half, b to the second. All right, let's take a look at number 5. Number 5 is the uh, third root of a, b squared. All right, well, again, we when there's no exponent on a variable, we put in the 1. So it's a to the one-third, and then b to the two-thirds. And since neither of those can be reduced, uh, we're done. That's it. That's all we have to do there. That was nice, right? Nice and easy. Nice. It's nice when they're easy, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. We have the fourth root of 81, a to the twelfth, and then b to the eighth. Okay, so again, same thing with the variables. We can put the one exponent on the 81. So we have 81 to the one-fourth power, and then a to the 12 over 4, and then b to the 8 over 4. Now, remember what one-fourth power is. One-fourth means the fourth root, well, you can see it up there, the fourth root of 81. And it turns out that 81 is a perfect fourth root. So the fourth root of 81 
is three. And I think we had this in tables earlier. Uh, so you can go back and look at your tables. You would see that three to the fourth is 81. So 81 to the one fourth power would just be three. 12 divided by four is three. And then eight divided by four is two. So those just simplify real nicely. So again, this one here may not have been as obvious. You can also check this on the calculator by using the X root of Y key. <coughs> but or just test it by multiplying three times three times three times three, and that does give you 81. But again, that should have been on those tables from the previous lesson. That's how you can look that up and do that, either that or the calculator. All right, so that's it for page five. Uh, we're going to go over to page six now. And page six on problems one, two, and three, they want us to simplify each expression. So let's go ahead and do that. So on number one, we have xy squared over x to the third y squared. Now there's a couple ways you can do those, uh, do these. Um, uh, so let's do it like this. So remember when we divide, we subtract the exponent. So always the top minus the bottom. So this is x to the one minus three and y to the two minus two. Well, let's see here. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Well, remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. And let's think about this here. And we, plus, we have a negative exponent. So we don't want to write this with uh, negative exponents. We always want to usually, unless they tell us otherwise, use positive exponents. So let's see how we're going to do this here. <coughs> let's make it a fraction by putting it over 1. To make the negative exponent positive, remember, we're just going to drop that into the denominator. And we have the y to the 0 on top. But remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. So we just have 1 over x squared. And that is it. So we wouldn't want to leave that as y to the 0 because anything to the zero is uh, power of 0 is 1. All right, let's go on to number 2. We have 18x to the 3rd, y to the 7th over 2, wait, I already see that, 2y to the 5th, there we go, I believe that's it, if not, that's what we're going to do though, all right, so let's go ahead and we, this time we have some coefficients to divide out, so we have 18 divided by 2 is 9, and well, let's see, let's, before we do the fraction, 18 divided by 2 is 9, we have x to the 3rd, nothing to simplify there, and with the y's, we have 7 minus 5. So y to the 7 minus 5. Well, 7 minus 5 is 2, so we end up with 9x to the 3rd, y to the 2nd. And there's no negative exponent, so we won't have um, a fraction there. So that is that. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe that's correct. Okay. Just making sure, and, we're, and again, we're assuming that was a y to the fifth on the bottom. The packet that I have, it's it's tough to read it, but we're going to assume that's y to the fifth. Okay, so now number three, we have 12x to the fourth over 8x to the ninth y. Okay, so on this one, it's not as nice as the 18 to the 2. This doesn't divide out as evenly, but we can uh, notice that 4 will go into both 12 and 8. So we divide 12 by 4, we get 3. 8 divided by 4, we get uh, 2. So we have 3 on the top, 2 on the bottom. With the x's, we have uh, x to the next. Make sure we do this in the right order, 4 minus 9. And then the y is just on the bottom. There's nothing to combine that with, so we'll just leave it there. Well, 4 minus 9 is negative 5. And re remember, we don't want to leave any negative exponents, so we're going to drop the x into the denominator to make it positive. So the only thing left on top is the 3. And then on the bottom, we'll have 2. And we want to go alphabetical, so the x first, x to the positive 5, and then y. And that's it. So again, the x to the fifth is dropping to the bottom, and we just put them in alphabetical order, and that is it. Okay, so now on the bottom of page six, we're going to solve some equations. That's problems seven, eight, and nine. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So we have three x to the one fourth 
plus 2 equals 11. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're trying to isolate x. So we are going to divide by 3, but we first of all need to get rid of this plus 2, so we're going to subtract 2 to both sides. So we have 3x to the 1 fourth equals 9 x to the 1 fourth is being multiplied by 3, so we divide by 3. And we have x to the 1 fourth equals 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So now, we got a problem. we got a fraction, not as a coefficient, but as an exponent. So how do we deal with that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All we do is we raise this to get rid of that fraction exponent to its reciprocal power. So the, the reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 4 over 1, or just 4, whenever you uh, raise an exponent to another exponent, you multiply them. And that's why we did reciprocal, because when you multiply a number by its reciprocal, everything cancels out, meaning it's just 1. So we have x to the first, or just x. 3 to the fourth is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So x is equal to 81, and so just like that. Okay, moving on to number two there. Uh, let's go ahead and erase this, I think. Instead of trying to fit a whole bunch of them up here. All right, we've got 8x to the 1 half. And so all three of these are going to kind of function the same way. Plus 20 equals 100. All right, so same thing. We need to get rid of that plus 20 first of all. So we're going to subtract 20 to both sides. And we've got 8x to the 1 half equals 80, because this cancels out. x to the 1 half is being multiplied by 8, so we divide by 8. And we get x to the 1 half equals 80 divided by 8, which is 10. And then same thing, we're going to raise the reciprocal power. So the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1, or just 2. A number times its reciprocal, again, a power raised to another power, we multiply. We're multiplying reciprocals, so that just cancels. So we have x to the first, or just x. 10 squared means 10 times 10, which is 100, and that is it. That is all we have to do. All right, now moving on to the last problem on this page and the last problem of the intro video, to which that is good news, right? But we're learning a lot here and reviewing a lot here. All right, so we got 4x to the one-third plus 15, this is problem number 9, equals 35, right? Yes, one third, yes, we're good. Okay, so first thing we do is opposite of adding 15 is to subtract 15. So we get 4x to the one third equals 20. x to the one third is being multiplied by 4, so we divide by 4. And we get x to the one third equals 20 divided by 4, which is 5. And again, we have a fractional exponent, so we're going to raise that to the reciprocal power, which is 3 over 1, or just uh, 3. So we're going to raise 3 to both sides. The number of times it's reciprocal, everything cancels, so we have x to the first, or just x. 5 to the third is 5 times 5 times 5. Remember, this is the number you're multiplying. This is how many you're multiplying, 1, 2, 3. So 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So x equals 125. Okay, that is it. Reviewing some skills, uh, maybe um, possibly even seeing some things you haven't seen yet. But in any case, uh, hopefully that helps uh, set the stage for the rest of the packet. And we will see you in the, in the uh, next lesson, which is 15.1, where we're going to be talking about uh, logarithmic functions. And uh, so we'll see you then. And again, no homework. This is the intro video. And so we'll see you in the next video, which if you can just go straight to that from this video.